guys, welcome back to part four of Let's Play Baldur's Gate. In this episode, we're going to be trying to kill some basilisks. Um, I know, it's going to be a little tricky. Um, so, let's play. Um, first thing I need to do is, I obviously need more arrows. Um, these basilisks, the lesser ones should have about, like, 200 health. They're going to have a lot of health. But my dragon here might be able to, uh, it's immune to paralyzation, so it actually might be able to, um, take the shots, to, or take the hits, whatever you want to call it. Didn't mean to stealth. I'm probably going to be playing a little poorly today. Um, it's July 4th. Happy 4th of July, everyone. Um, I woke up a little early this morning to hit the hiking trail, plus I wanted to get this episode taped and uploaded, just so we can all, you know, have a nice evening, because I don't really want to be playing Baldur's Gate in the evening, obviously. Um, do 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 what else? Went on another, um, six-mile hike, uh, this morning. I almost went for eight miles. I actually felt really fine, but the grass was all wet and stuff. The trail was muddy, and I, I had my shoes sitting there on the deck drying. I need new shoes. Those shoes are ancient, by the way. I don't even want to show them off. I'm really embarrassed I still wear them. They're my um, old beat-up shoes. They're not the actual ones I'd, like, wear out in public. Those shoes might be about four years... Actually, they're about five years old. I, I remember buying them shortly before I left uh, to live out in South Korea for two years. And they uh, they were brand new back then, but now they're... Um, they're they've, they've seen their days. I like them, though. They're a very comfortable pair, but they are falling apart, literally. Speaking of Korea, I guess, um, I have a pretty cool lunch today. Um, I went out to one of the uh, local Asian grocery chains, Super H Mart. I live out in Atlanta. Uh, there's a few locations. I think they're actually in other cities as well, major cities like New York and um, stuff like that. Um, and I, I purposely went to get the, the sesame leaves that they have there. They're like these like super, super leafy, dark they're really bitter. I actually hated it the first couple times I had them. And then they grow on you. Stupidly healthy for you, though. Um, and I wanted to have some. I actually kind of like the taste. Oh, good, I didn't pull the vampiric wolves. Um, basilisk zone. Let's rest, just so I don't get fatigued. Um, anyway. Hopefully it's... Oh, it's still badly injured. Let me rest again. Uninjured. I thought it would regenerate my backpack, but I guess it's treated like an item and it preserves its state. I don't care too much about my health. Um, end game. Um, not Kool-Aid, it's the, it's kind of like Kool-Aid, it's the, um, those Mio energy things that you can squeeze into drinks, um, like I said, I'm tired, I woke up early this morning, and I'm probably not going to be playing my best, um, I also can't, um, go take a nap or anything, because I have my, um, washing machine running, it's pretty loud, and I can hear it from my bedroom, should not take another step, because I know there's a basilisk, like, right here, I don't want to just blindly charge with my dragon because there could be like something I don't want to fight there, like a knoll or. Oh, let's just take a peek. For science, I think there's a. Yeah, it should be like right here. Or maybe up here. I know there's a big one over here, uh, west of those bones. Okay. Um. This dragon, I'm not gonna. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, I'm not gonna charge into melee range with it. In fact, I'm just gonna sit back and just pound it with arrows while this thing tanks. I don't want to charge into melee because I'm afraid that the pseudo dragon basilisks occasionally will get fed up with their paralyzation spam, and their claws will just. I mean, if my dragon was done, that was weird. Slow down. Hope I'm not running like a virus scan in the back. Um, anyway, like I was saying, if Silky could destroy my dragon with a quarter staff, I don't want to know what an actual monster could do with it. 
Um, this is why I bought um, arrows, by the way. I'm doing decent damage to it, and I'm actually more accurate than I thought I was. I thought I'd be missing a lot. So we'll get some levels here. Um, not the most entertaining thing to watch in the world, but it is what it is. I'm wearing another shirt I like, by the way. Big Lebowski shirt, kind of like designed like the, that Obama change poster. Again, I think this was a, literally another garage sale shirt. I, I, I really can't remember where I got this thing, but it's not that old, apparently. I mean, it can't be more than eight years old. Um, but I like the shirt. It's a little big on me now, though. It's a good sign, though. Oh, anyway, I forgot what I was saying about the Super H Mark. I have a bit of a cool lunch today. In addition to those leaves, I was describing the sesame leaves. Um, it was on sale. It was $3 a pound. They had these pre-marinated bulgogi marinated packs. I bought one. Now, I do kind of regret buying it, not because I hate it. It's going to be delicious. It has a lot of sugars and fruit stuff in it. Like, I was looking at the ingredients. It's got, like, apple, pear, just raw cane sugar in it, in the marinade, I presume. It'll be good, though. It'll be a pretty awesome lunch, and then, of course, this evening, I go eat some burgers or something, you know. And I don't I don't care about the calories then. I mean, it's a holiday. You can eat them. I can have a hamburger and not die, you know. I'm not, I'm not that anorexic. Just try not to shove a bunch of Papa John's pizza down my face, you know. Down my, down my face. Uh, actually, I... Despite me having a lot of fast food rep on Lulinx, Links, I actually do not... I'm sorry, ETI. Oh, wait, no. Who, who was upset at me? I think it was... I think it was Speco. Someone was upset at me because I said ETI, and then now I'm saying Lulinx. I use those terms interchangeably. Anyway, on that blue website, um, I have a lot of fast food rep, but I actually do not eat a lot of fast food in real life. I do like fast food. Don't get me wrong, I love Wendy's, but I'm actually kind of disgusted by some things like on the fast food places. I've never had a Baconator. Never will. Whenever I go to Wendy's, I always either get a salad or one of their spicy chicken sandwiches. Um, and yeah, there's nothing wrong with, with eating fast food. There's something wrong when you eat it daily, of course, but... I don't want to, like, make you guys think I'm, like, all, like, this huge health nut or anything. No. That's not the case. But I am trying to watch what I eat a little bit more. For example, um, Fat Me would, would buy a bag of Doritos, you know, the party size once and finish it in a day or two. That's just sad. They're delicious, though. That's my weakness, is not, like, sweet foods, it's salty. I still ingest a lot of salt. Alright, level up. Like I said, this is gonna be kind of a... I didn't say it, it's probably gonna be kind of a boring episode, just because I have to grind this experience. Alright, um, saves, yes. Proficiencies, double, double yes. Actually, not even yes, because I can't put points in other stuff. This is why I don't like rangers. I mean, say what you want about paladins. Rangers just feel like gimped fighters. In that it takes me about, I think it's 10%. Someone's going to have to check me on that. Generally speaking, it's about 10% longer to level. And you can't get Grandmaster. You stop at uh, Specialization. Which, I mean, Specialization's a huge bump up. I, I shouldn't complain about that. Um, as I said, I really... I don't know how to even put it. All of these ranged weapons, I mean, you, obviously you can only use one range weapon at a time. Um, the first logical point, I guess, is just max two weapon style. I will use clubs eventually, definitely by Shadows of Om, not for a ball. I probably won't be meleeing with clubs then. But for right now, two weapon style, you never know. Run out of arrows and just run up and just bash things with clubs. Caveman style. By the way, I forgot to point out the irony. You know how I keep saying, like, I'm going on nature hikes? I'll keep playing while I talk. Um, nature hikes, and I'm playing a Beastmaster. The irony actually occurred to me this morning. The irony is this. 
I said in episode one, within like the first minute or two, I like to kind of like play the game. I like to just, you know, sit back against my couch, play on the floor. I'm playing on my coffee table right now. Uh-oh. Let's back up. It's gonna try some tricks. I don't think if I stealth and I shoot... Are you really doing this right now? Alright, this thing should have like 4 or 5 APR and it should do insane damage. Oh jeez. Well, my playthrough just got a little bit more interesting, huh? Uh, while I multitask, I don't- I have to be a little careful. I don't want to retreat. Because if I retreat, I run the risk of running into gnolls. It's after me, isn't it? Um, the irony. I'm sorry, I got a little distracted. I'm not exactly a good multitasker. This is like the most awkward fight. Um, the irony is I'm going on these nature trails. I'm trying to eat stupidly healthy and, you know, all this other stuff about me. I'm playing against a leather couch. Um, by the way, I would not suggest owning a leather couch. I always wanted one as a kid. My parents always had, like, cloth couches, and, you know, I'd go to a friend's house, and they all have, like, leather couches, and I'm always, I was always jealous by it. I liked the texture. I liked the look. A, they're kind of a pain to take care of. Oh, man. B, and B's the worst one. You can't really, s I mean, I don't sleep on my couch, obviously. Oh, my gosh, I'm taking, I'm getting hit too much now. Um, I don't sleep on my couch, but, like, if I want to, like, lay down and, like, watch, like, a, sh a TV show, a YouTube video, a Twitch stream, you name it, it's, it, like, creates, like, a suction against, like, your face, and it's just uncomfortable, though. Ooh, ooh, uh-oh, I'm gonna get paralyzed. No! Oh. Alright, that was close. It was looking at me. Come on, Greater Basilisk. Just go into your little stone form. Stop picking on my dragon and making me click. I just want to lay back and chill. And that like said, I'm a little tired. Oh my gosh, I should not get hit again. I'm trying not to kite it near me because I, if I, I don't want this thing looking at me on the off chance. That was close. If I get stoned right now. Badly injured. As long as this thing's dead, I'm okay. Come on! Get a crit or something. <laughs> I need a crit. She got back up. I don't want to um, get paralyzed. This lesser basilisk keeps looking at Sam Axe, and it's kind of making me nervous. Alright, I'm downgraded to injured at least. Meaning if I get hit again, I can... than I wanted to do, honestly, for this fight. It's going to be worth a lot of experience. I think these are worth 7,000. Maybe it's 4,000. I can't remember. It's got about 300 hit points, by the way. If you haven't noticed, I've been actually kind of consistently hitting it. 7,000. Um, let's just park it here. That way I can see if it faces me. I won't probably be doing this entire zone at once. There's going to be some fights that I might not be able to win. Might as well take the level up, huh? Get, get some Thacko going. I'm not really missing him too much, but... 
every little bit helps, huh? I'm actually missing way less than I thought I was. I mean, missile weapons in Baldur's Gate 1 are just... They're very powerful. Very powerful stuff. It's kind of like watching Breaking Bad. My videos always have, like, one or two, like, really cool moments where I'm about to shoot Silky right before she casts Magic Missile and explodes me into pieces, and then the other... 59 minutes of my videos are just me AFK auto shooting. No offense if you're a big fan of I'm I'm a big fan of Breaking Bad, but you have to admit like 90% of that show is a bunch of filler slash setting up drama. I'm sure someone's gonna come back at me on that one. Oh come on. Should be next hit. Should be next hit. Starting now. Starting now. Oh, come on. Much more experience. I don't need to hit love the max level in this zone. I don't need to hit max level before I start recruiting NPCs. In fact, I'll probably um, once I think it's level six. I'll I'll, I'll grab Minsk and everyone. Looks like I didn't encounter any respawns. I was a little worried that there'd be some gnolls here or something. Let's put back up some arrows. I told you guys I'd be going through a lot of arrows this episode. I might not even grab... I might not have grabbed enough. I don't know. Alright, I'm trying not to find Korax. If you remember in my Swashbuckler playthrough, for some reason he just snapped at me. I don't remember him always doing that. I thought it was only if you rested near him. If you rest with him, he'll get hungry and try to eat your face. I like how it's, I never really noticed it, but the dragon's just like a miniature downsized version of a wyvern. It's the same character model. I really never noticed that. I don't really have an eye for detail. Which is a shame, because this game is just beautiful. I mean, look at the, the how hand-painted, crafted all this stuff is. And I'm just too busy looking at DPS and numbers. Can't really just appreciate the, the beauty of this game. For a hit. I, if you go in for a hit, they might engage in melee mode. I think something just snapped with that Greater Basilisk and he just wanted to tear my my mini wyvern up. But um, I think. Yeah. What else? So I think the game plan this game is. Oh, are you kidding me? Slashing damage crit. The game plan this game, I definitely want Minsk and Dinah here. I might just pick up Khalid and Jahira just because they're um, kind of integral to the plot. And they're not that bad of NPCs. They're not spectacular, and I'll be honest, if I, I already said it in a previous video, oh my gosh, now they're all, um, maybe it's whenever you get two basilisks, one wants to engage in melee, I don't know, let's burn it down, I'm trying to keep an eye on my health, alright, let's back up just to be safe, I don't want to eat a crit. I saying? So I'm thinking it's going to be my protagonist, the Beastmaster, Minsk, Dinah here, Khalid, Jahira, and I need a sixth. I know I tossed out Kagan out there in the last episode. He's still a contender. Um, the problem is that I need a tank because none of the, there's really no you know who could my, my sixth be is? I could always, uh, after I clear out the mines of Nashkel, I could always go back and get Kaivin, another ranger. Because range, D I think I just, I think the game plan is stack range DPS. Um, I don't think there's going to be a good tank this series. I mean, sure, Jihiro with uh, the Dex Gauntlets is a contender. 
There's a couple other people. Viconia is actually a very good tank if you give her the dex. Or, um. Not Viconia. No, I think I'm thinking of just Jahira. There was something else that was a, a surprising good tank. I mean, Viconia's good on magic tanks. She has a, she's a drow and she has 50 magic resistance. Base. Um, but I think the game plan is stack a bunch of range DPS. And I know it, this does not look like I'm doing a ton. By the way, um, if you don't have your character highlighted for some reason you're not seeing the missiles, yes, I'm still damaging it, even though it just says magic resistance. Um, range DPS is still pretty decent. Alright, there's one or two things left here I want to do. I think there's not many Basilisks up left. I think there might be like one right here. I know there's a greater one, there's a Mutamin. I don't want to fight Mutamin. I think I demonstrated this before. If you don't do the Mutamin encounter, Greater Basilisk here won't get upset at you. Um, I think once I kill the Greater, I might be able to actually kill Mutamin. He's not that tough without his things, or the Basilisks. After that, I might end the video, and I'll probably be at a dis decent level. This stuff is actually starting to work. It's starting to wake me up a little bit. I'm telling you guys, I was... I was up around 6 this morning, which is early for me. I usually, uh, when I'm on my normal work schedule, I usually get up around 7. Although, um, I um, invested in a um, YMCA membership, and I'll be honest, I haven't really been utilizing it too much. I kind of just like the outdoor trails. I hate running on treadmills. And you, this might sound surprising with me, I'm not a huge fan of just sitting there lifting weights and heavy objects. It's kind of boring. I like swimming. That's actually the main reason I got the, the membership, which gets me to my second point. I might keep it up when my work um, starts back up and use the pool in the morning. You know, go for at least a 30-minute swim. By the way, I cannot swim continuously for 30 minutes. I'm just not that, at that point yet. I just get too winded. I'm too much of a beta male. Um, but I would like to keep it up. I'm not really planning on quitting that. Um, meaning I'll have to start getting up really early. Just so I can... Because I think if I try to compete against all the chads who actually go there after work and during peak hours, it's just going to be too much. Uh-oh. I actually did not want to go that close. Can I just shoot this from long range? There we go. I don't want Mutamin to, to initiate his dialogue, because that's when this thing actually will start to aggro me. It's a shame I don't have any abilities like Called Shot. I wonder, could I charm this thing and st I won't get experience if I petrify him, though. I, I actually kind of forgot about Charm Animal. It's actually really forgettable for a ranger, it's just a... It's, it's better in Baldur's Gate 1 than it is in 2, because there are a lot of dangerous like bears and stuff in this game. Baldur's Gate 2. By the time you get to Baldur's Gate 2, I mean, bears, yeah, are dangerous. And I'll be honest, I'm a little excited just to summon a swarm of bears on enemies, but ultimately, I'm at the end of the day, I'm playing a very gimped fighter who has to wear leather and use wood weapons. Yeah, these greater basilisks have about 300 hit points, I think. They're already, they're already meaty alone. But tripling their health and adding 80 puts them around 300, at least at least over 200, without even looking it up. I estimate that the vanilla version only has... I, I estimate a vanilla basilisk has 70 hit points, so you triple it, that's 210. You add 80, you're around 300. And I think 70 is a very, very good underestimate. It might even be like 90. Until I get stuff like acid arrows, it'll speed up these encounters. There's a lot of fire arrows, stuff like that. What I'm a little nervous about is um, I didn't take quarter staff, and I intend on beating Siege of Dragon Spear, but the final boss needs to be hit by plus three weapons. I mean, 
there are no plus three clubs in the in the first game. There's a plus three quarter staff. Technically, Dragon Spear has another plus three quarter staff, um, but there's still no plus three clubs in the series. In fact, there's only one plus three, or there's two plus three or higher clubs in um, Shadows of Bomb. Um, da, da, da. level five, one to go. Let's kill. Ooh, emerald. Seven hundred and fifty coins, if memory serves. All right, let's. Um, do I have arrows to kill him? Sort of. Let's do it. Let's get my guy in place. I like how he acts as my eyes. I wonder. Okay, I'll save you. I was I was curious to see if um Oh, sorry, I didn't read it. Is it just me or is the world full of wackos? Okay, Mr. Psycho Gnome, I hope you don't take this the wrong way, but you're we're not interested in your rock garden. I almost hit my W key, that was my hotkey for detect illusion. Too used to my swashbuckler. Good, resisted. He's gonna spam a few um, mouth acids. I might be able to interrupt. Yeah. He's gonna also do. Um, I don't think he does magic missile. It might be Larlox. You'd be a little good gnome mage and just sit. Oh wait, no, he can't cast Larlox. He's a gnome, and by by default, they can't cast necromancy spells because they're illusionists. Oh no, he can cast Larlox. You know, I said it before, I always try to look cool in these videos with my knowledge and stuff, and I'm always wrong. Go with your gut instinct. I thought gnomes can't cast necromancy. I thought they uh, have to, by default, become illusionists, which their opposite spell school is necromancy, isn't it? Someone would know. Sonic Bomber would know. He seems to know all this stuff in these games. Alright, um, definitely take this stuff. Oh, misclick. I think this has been a pretty long episode, so I probably should cut it. Um, this has been Sam Max on part 4 of Let's Play Baldur's Gate in part 5. I will try to uh, get this extra 10.05k experience points. Um, to get to level 6. After that, we're going to start recruiting the NPCs and building up our A-team. I'll see you guys then.